Welcome back grade 10s. We're now moving on to our next little section of equations called literal equations. Now literal equations are slightly different from what we've been doing. We've been doing numerical equations where we mainly deal with numbers. Um, but now literal equations just is a combination of letters and it's mainly used in science and maths and sometimes in technology when you want to express something in terms of another. Um, it's formula and rearranging formula and the essentially three ways that they could ask it and I've just written a little bit on the board and we're going to look at that now. So the question might be solve for p in terms of x and y and a and b or whatever or make p the subject of the formula. In other words we want p equals and the answer or show that p equals and it's still equations, it's still solving for an unknown but it's in terms of other letters. Um, I've got five examples we're going to work through on my next little video, but I just want to introduce and show how they're slightly different each time. So here we're going to solve for t. We're always going to solve for the variable that's in the brackets. This one's quite straightforward. There's no fractions or anything. With number two, we're going to solve for x. Now you'll see x is in two different places. x is there and there. So the way that we would get x in one place in order to solve it is we would, yes, we would factorize, we would take out a common x. Number three, we need to solve for g. Now g is a denominator, it's at the bottom, and that's a problem. So the first thing we would need to do in solving this is to get g to the top, and we would do that by opposite of dividing is to multiply. So we would multiply f by gr and then it would be at the top. Number four. Here we've got a trinomial. One, two, three terms and we need to solve for x. Now x at the moment is there and there and they've also got that. So what we're going to do in this particular case is because it's a trinomial we're going to factorize the trinomial and then you'll see where we go from there. Number five, we need to solve for V. And V is stuck over there. It's in the denominator. So the first thing we would want to do there is to get it to the top. So what do we do when we have equations with fractions? Can you remind me? Yes, we've got to find the LCD and then multiply each term by the LCD. Okay, so this is the end of this first little video. And then we're going to do the solutions of each of these with the next video. Bye!